Day and night. The lonely stoner sings that free is mine the night. We're going to talk about this. I want to see the lyrics and just go with that. I toss and turn, I keep stress in my mind. I look for peace, but I see I don't attain what I need for keeps. The silly game we play. Madness, the magnet that keeps on attracting me. I try to roam, but see, I'm not that fast. All right, let's talk about this lonely stoner. Hmm. Randy, Jonathan, hello. <laughs> You remind me of Albert Einstein because he never combed his hair either. You're very smart, I see. Genius. Oh, I love this kind. I love these kinds of guys. And very... Oh, my God. You're the, you're the most... For me personally, and women like me, and even other men like this, it's that not hippie, not skater, but grunge type of... Oh my God, the loyal ones. The ones where when you have a flat tire and you're the neighbor, they help you. You don't have to ask, they offer. You're a wonderfully horrible influence on me. Is that why you're a lonely stoner? What you looking like? Hmm? He's all alone through the day and night. The pain is deep. A silent sleeper, you won't hear a peep. The girl he wants don't seem to want him too. Tell me about that. What did I do? He can't sleep without the weed now. First, I see that there's a man here who's concerned about the judicial system. You have bars on your window, and you're not the kind of man that looks for fights. They intend. You must be a target. You feel like a really good guy, and you're you're all targeted in some way. They won't move you from the bottom floor somewhere else. Just know that you'll always be protected. Somebody will die trying to break in that shit too. If it's a hotel or a motel that you're living in, and you're trying to get off the bottom floor, all you got to do is just feel it. Feel it in your soul that someone will actually die in the process of trying to break in that shit. Tell me about uh, what's up with the marriage, though. Why didn't I marry her when I had her? Yeah. One of the things that you didn't like about her at the time was that she's very... She defends herself vocally, but she also defended you vocally... There must be someone else here. Oh, God, I miss her voice. Oh, my God, in the morning. She just left me alone, though. Your ex, when you woke up, she knew you were a little cranky in the morning, and she just kind of let you do your thing. This one is, hey, good morning. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, boy. I wake up and she's drinking. I'm trying to stop drinking, so I'm smoking more pot. She's drinking more. She sees this as the, not that we're trying to save. She saw you stop drinking or cut down on drinking as it's okay for me to actually sneak more liquor. Be careful. What's in the cup? She's got a big Slurpee. Yeah. If she says she stopped drinking or trying, she's lying. She cries and whines to everybody in the community. And they can't stand this one. The other one, I believe, they loved her. She fed them. Oh, I'm getting emotional again. When she would go to the store, she actually paid attention whether people around her had food. She listened to their conversations. She didn't eavesdrop. But she paid attention to when people were struggling with certain shit. Or let's say that someone says, I can't find this at the store no more. And she goes out shopping and she finds that she will actually buy some shit for somebody else without them asking. Rose, Rosie, Rosa, Lily, Lila. 
Oh, look at it. Even the kids loved her. She played with the kids. Oh. This one's working on the corner. Oh, they hide. Yeah, boy. She sits in a, this is a hotel or motel or one of them. It, one level get downs. She sits outside and she's itching and picking herself and shit. And when they come around the corner, they hope that it's you out there. They really like you. And these are women who haven't had really good experiences with men, but they can tell that you're different. Yeah, there's someone there that really is attracted to you, but every time she comes around the corner, she winds up backing up. She's like, nah. She will not get down, and she's not the kind of woman who's going to speak to you while you have this girl with you. Now, for somebody, this woman is that's with you is not your girlfriend. She's a friend. But it doesn't matter because she's not helping you grow. So basically, she's just a cock block for you now. That's it. And she's not helping out in any way. She doesn't make the bed or anything. If you ex-military, you know how important it is for me to make the bed? It's something that's instilled in me. B.C. The Kabbalah, too. You, the man is into that, aren't you? Tell me one of you is a Christian and the other one's into that. R-E. It will never work right from there. It will never work. F-N. CERN. You speak about that kind of stuff. She's not interested. These are the. This is the differences between these two women. This other woman woke you up in some way. And then I don't know what happened. Okay, you were both targeted, possibly. Maybe you didn't realize that that's what it was until now. CRF. Chronic rectum failure. All right, okay. Commonly rejected. Uh, I don't know. Commonly rejected. She put me there. You know, is this a friend with benefits? Oh, really? The ex was really like that, huh? She would see the kids or know that the kids were playing around and she saw glass or she knew somebody broke a bottle. She would actually go out there and clean it up so that the kids... Oh, the community misses her a lot. Oh. Abe. Avia. Vibe. I can't stand using this word, this terminology, and I don't know. Let's find another one for you because I think you're trying to explain ma. Ma. Are you Italian or Latino? Uh, let's see what a, a synonym for vibe is so that you can start explaining this. Aura. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Feeling. Character. Cookies. Style. All right. Uh. We'll just use the uh. Tell me what else is up. I can't sit in here much longer. I'm going crazy. What am I going to do when it gets cold out? At least I jack. At least I can sit outside now. When I was with the other one, I was just we would just be. I didn't worry about a month or two from now. This one's got she, she, she she's neurotic. She's a nervous freaking wreck. And the thing is, she's so defensive with everything. I mean, I think some of the women, you attract women. I don't know what the men thing is, but you attract a lot of women. And 
it feels like they tried being cordial with this woman and she's just she sees she's trying to be like someone else is it the ex and it's not working it's not a good fit for her because this woman's role she's a non-player character her role is to show women what you don't want to be like that's not anything I think like you always say okay well thanks mom or dad you taught me something even if it was what I didn't want to take on later in life that's what this is so she has a, a part to play it just that part it's it's over it's done I, I got it. See ya. Used olive oil as a lube during sex. All right. Did she replace your oil? Oh, she's so angry. She, she uh, gets mad that you do that to that woman. She can feel it. Cool. All right. Tell me about the olive oil. Talk, talk to me about the olive oil. Oh, your battery on your devices are draining as well. She's that means she's draining your soul, bro. All right. She when your phone when you charge your phone and three hours later that shit is on thirty percent. You barely use it. She's draining your life force because the chariot in the car. If you're looking for your oil, she hid it in the car. Um, is it a motorcycle? Is there a bag that you have? Uh, my favorite oil, god damn it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, and rolling papers? Glove compartment. I think you're going to have to put an end to this shit. I know that when you try and do that, the water works. This is this. Yeah, and then she'll go and talk to the community and act like it was you where you put your hands on her. They don't believe her. I think if more people were open and vo uh, with her vocally, she could just be the kind of woman that pops off and she uses that as a weapon that people won't approach her with truth. They would rather not even deal with it. You're on your own with this one. She has done this. That's why the parents don't want anything to do with her. You're going to have to be real stern with this. We're not going nowhere. Love you, sir. Bye.